everybody welcome back thanks for tuning in again we're gonna get right into this video if you haven't been following along the Mustang a few weeks ago now it's been a while already lost its oil pressure no oil pressure driving home not doing anything crazy I wasn't going fast I actually had my daughter in the car at the time we were just driving around stopped for some fuel on the way home no oil pressure so pulled over thought it might be a computer issue stopped the car turned it off Fired it back up. It did actually disappear for a few minutes. Made it back to my house. And by the time I got into the garage, no oil pressure again. So long story short, ended up getting it towed to Ford. Between no mechanics and just timing and long weekends, it has taken forever to get this thing in, but they have finally started ripping her apart. I thought maybe it would be a sensor. That's what the guy told me when I dropped it off as well. Just the way it was acting they thought it was a sensor didn't end up being a sensor so now they have to take the engine apart and what they have told me i can't figure this out i have a few ideas of what happened and i'm going to tell you that in this video but basically the engine is done it needs a new engine they started pulling it apart originally he texts me when they had the top end apart and said, hey, we found something that looks like plastic. Just remember that, it looks like plastic stuck in between the timing chain and the engine itself. Just something crammed in there. So yada, 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 that something might have been put in there, he said. So anybody that knows me, my car comes with me to work, which is secured parking. Nobody can get in and around that parking lot. And when I'm not driving it, I have it there parked away all locked up all is good when i'm back from work i hop in she comes home with me back in the garage and nobody can get at it in there either only place this car is by itself is one if i go to the grocery store or when it was parked in the ford parking lot and remember that part for later on in the story so basically what they have told me now is what they found is some sort of paper either a napkin a tissue paper toilet paper kleenex something they claim anyways was put into my engine so basically somehow this paper got into the engine and then an engine being an engine obviously everything spins and gets sucked in and it's basically just made it like a big toilet paper mess throughout the whole engine so now, because that is their claim, they're saying that it's no longer warrantied because now it is a sort of vandalism. So it would go through insurance, which just to tell you right now, that's the step we're at. That's as far as it's gotten. And insurance now, my insurance company is going over to Ford to look because when I told the insurance guy this, even he was shaking his head saying, well, how the heck does something get in there like that? Their first question to me was, is there any like forced entry into the car? So scratches around the hood, scratches around maybe the windows or the door handle where somebody would have got in because without actually popping the hood, you can't get into the engine. And one, the only thing it could go through is either maybe it got through the air filter somehow and got sucked into the motor or someone would have had to stuff it in your oil fill cap. That's the only two places it could have got into the engine, but both of those, like I said, you have to get under the hood. So I told them there's no scratches on the car. There's a few rock chips, a few little scuffs here and there, but that's just from driving the car. Nobody's ever been in this car. So now they're going to Ford to look because obviously you can't get paper towel into your engine. Doesn't happen. There's no way it would happen. And the other thing I told them is, I don't know if you guys watched the last video, I mentioned I was getting some readings on the dash of like warnings and stuff, cross lane detection and all that, which my car doesn't personally have. I don't have that option in my car, but it was freaking out the dash. And the second part of that is Ford has not actually told me what specifically has broken. Like yes, it's clogged, it's probably plugged everything, but what is actually the main culprit? Can they just clean it out? I don't know, Ford themselves has said, 
it's not worth cleaning it out because if they miss something and you fire it all back up it's going to get sucked up and plugged again so they haven't actually told me what caused the problem in the first place so pretty much what i'm thinking is and this is just me the only place the car has been sitting without me around is at the ford dealership itself and another thing that's a little fishy is when ford pressure tested the car originally for oil pressure they said sensor just like me we're going to pressure test it to make sure it's pumping see if the sensor's working and now after they pressure tested it there happens to be some paper towel or like i said i don't know what it was it's paid some kind of paper basically all covered in oil i did actually go and look myself they aren't lying it is in there but like i said the only place it could have actually got in there is ford and the reason i say this is because i actually made the guy walk into his own lie type of deal i asked him okay so this is parked in my garage somebody stuffs paper towel in there hypothetically when i start up the car would it suck up fast enough that it would do this right away or like can you drive around for a few weeks because what they were asking me is oh well when is the last time you did an oil change they thought that maybe i stuffed paper towel in my engine somehow changing the oil because you know everybody stuffs paper towel in their engine nowadays to clean out the inside right so i told him well the last oil change was back in may so he said oh well it wouldn't have been you then maybe somebody else touched your car i said nobody touched the car except you guys here and they didn't really like that answer, but they didn't really say anything about it either. So I asked them, I said, if someone hypothetically got in my car, popped the hood, stuffed this Kleenex or whatever the heck is in there, in there, when I fired up the car, is it gonna get sucked up through the engine right, in, right away and make this no oil pressure pop up? And he said, oh yeah, it would be within a couple minutes, it would be through there and clogged everything up because it's a paper towel, that's what it does. It sucks up the oil, everybody knows, turns into like a paper mache basically. So then I said, oh, well that's funny because like I said at the beginning of this video, I was driving around. I went to the store with my kid, I went to the gas station with my kid, I was driving around for well over an hour, maybe two hours just cruising. We were having a weekend, just cruising around, getting some things done. And it wasn't until I was rolling up to my house, like I said, it was about a block away from my house, that this popped up. And going back to the dash freaking out, is if the oil, they're basically saying the oil pickup is what got plugged originally. So they're not sure how hot everything got and blah, blah, blah. That's why they say new engine. So I told them, well, you say it would happen right away, but here I am driving around for, you know, hour and a half, two hours before I got any sort of light, anything, anything like that. Car ran fine, no sputtering, no power issues, no lights, nothing. Then when the light goes on is now, like I said, two hours later. So if it was in there, then why would it have not been sucked in and done its thing right away like you just told me it would have? And again, no answer for that. Just kind of, oh, well, uh, yeah, you know, maybe the no real answer no questions for that which i'm not pointing fingers and at the end of the day it is what it is if it's it has to go through insurance it has to go through insurance if they think i put it in there myself whatever it's kind of my word against their word i can't say hey car was only parked by itself possibly unlocked either on the dealership lot they brought it to the dealership like I said, they couldn't look at it. It sat there for almost a week before they even touched it. And once they pressure tested it, it sat for another week and a half before they started ripping it apart. And now we're coming up on almost a month. They've had the car for almost a month. And still now because it's in insurance hands, the insurance company has to go look for themselves. And then they have to determine whether it's covered or not, which hopefully it is because I got a quote. I just asked the guy, give me a quote. If I got to change the engine out and it comes over or comes out to $15,500 Canadian before installing it, that's just your engine, your parts and supplies to put it in. So we're looking at probably close to $20,000 by time it's all said and done for something that they're claiming I did myself. But like I mentioned, I was driving around, something like that would get sucked into your motor right away and 
be done, according to them. So now basically it's just more of a waiting game. That's all I can do. Like I said, it's in the in my insurance company's hands and like I can't tell them, yeah, Ford did this or Ford did that, but the only place that would have been working on this car and the only place where that type of thing could have been put in there is while they were touching it. I don't know if one of their guys possibly, you know, they're pressure testing oil and lo and behold, now there's tissue paper in the oil pan all through the, they had the top end taken apart so you could see it all in the cams and stuff. And just to me, it seems like a weird coincidence that now of all times, they find this Kleenex in there when originally when they started taking it out, it was a piece of plastic. They thought, oh, we've seen a little piece of plastic or something stuck in the timing chain blah 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 and now here we are once maybe my theory is one of their guys did something maybe obviously not on purpose but stuff happens and just won't admit to it so now they're saying well here you go it's vandalized it's your problem we're not paying for it and i'm not saying that it's a ford thing necessarily because ford warranty is through ford itself it's not from dealership to dealership so if it was a warranty issue they would have just fixed it which i believe it was originally a warranty issue one because the dash was freaking out two because they looked at it right away the same as i did and everything was running fine while it was on didn't leave it running for long obviously it has no oil pressure you don't want to leave your car running but to test things out and to see what's really happening, you have to fire it up for a few minutes. And it was all fine. It seemed like everything was pumping until they pressure tested it. And then all of a sudden everything was, oh, wait a sec, it's not fine. We found this, now we found that. Oh, now we're not covering it because now you need a $15,000 motor, right? You go from fixing possibly an oil pump like a lot of you guys thought it might've been. I thought it might've been that myself as well. I was not expecting someone to tell me that, yeah, we. We found out that you put tissue paper in your motor. So that's where I am right now. I don't know what to do or what to think. All I can do is just leave it up to the insurance company, I guess, until they figure out whether they're covering or not. And if not, I'll obviously have to flip the bill because I'm going to have my car back. I'm not going to just give the thing away. We'll need a new engine get that all sorted out and then see where things go after that. But yeah, that is your update as of right now. How long this insurance company takes to look at it, I have no idea. They can't order parts until the insurance company says yay or nay on the payment. So we're waiting on that. And then when they order all the parts, the guy said, like I mentioned in the last video as well, about four to six weeks for shipping. And then who knows how long it takes the Ford guys to put the new engine in. Obviously they got to take the old one out, put the new one in, get her all buttoned up. So I would say we're looking at at least a couple of months, like minimum. So looking, we're middle of August now. So that puts us almost at Halloween by the time we even get this car back. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I do have this, the Chevy Cruze. I posted a few videos on it. But as for now, that's all the information I have. Once I figure out more, I'll go over it, let you guys know what's happening, see if we can actually get a decent timeline on things, and then we'll just have to go from there. So let me know what you think. How the heck would paper get into the engine? And let me know if anybody has any expertise on this type of thing, because like I said, other than insurance, there's no other way to go about it really. It's either they pay, I pay, or Ford pays. And Ford clearly is saying they're not paying because it's not an engine issue anymore. It was somebody put something in there that caused the engine to fail. It wasn't the engine itself failing. So that's your update. I'm gonna guess that none of you thought about this because I definitely did not think about this. But like always, like and subscribe, leave a comment, and hopefully we catch you guys in the next video where I can give you another update if all goes well. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching this one. And hopefully we catch you in the next one.